Welcome to today's lesson. Today's lesson will be about opening a word program. Opening a word program. Welcome. So, we start here at the start button. It's written start on the bottom left of your screen. So we click once. We can see the lineup of programs. We click on word. We wait for the word program to load. That's a word program. You can see the title here. Word program. So next we'll be clicking on a blank document. We'll be clicking on a blank document. You can see a blank document here. So we click on a blank document and the word program opens. This is how the word program looks like. You can see here that's the title bar. We have these control keys that we say are on all Windows programs, okay? The minimize, maximize, and close buttons. So here we can see we have this area here. We call it the menu ribbon. We have the file menu, home, insert, design, page layout, references, mailings, review, view. So we have the file. And now we can see this tab here. It means it is open. So these are the tools under home, okay? So usually the tools under home are for formatting, are for formatting, okay? When it comes to changing the appearance of our text, we use the home tab. Next, you can see here, insert. We can see, you can insert pages, table, pictures, online pictures, shapes, screenshots, we can see there are a lot of tools under insert which we use to insert something inside our document it can be a table it can be a picture it can be a page so that is insert okay so let's go back to home where we want to know just some basic skills about word processing okay so i'll show you here i'll put my screen keyboard okay so that's my online screen keyboard and this is my open program the word program which is open okay now this is my on-screen cable so the keys you need to know we went through them which helps you in typing will be this is number one the backspace this helps us when we were removing words that we don't want from the left of the sentence okay that will be backspace for rubbing we have our caps lock here it helps us type in capital letters next we have our enter button for moving to entering to a new line for going to a new sentence or a new line we use the enter key now we have the other key which is most important when we are typing is this key here it's called the space bar it is called the space bar we press on it once to put space between our words okay next we have our number keys we can see zero to number nine we have our alphabet keys on this area so we want to put our fingers on the home row here and we start typing so i'll start typing here i'll just give you a demonstration how i start typing and write my name so i'll put my caps lock so i'll type my name i write my then i put a space i use the space bar i click on space bar here to make a space then i write name then i click space bar uh-huh then i put my name is then again space my name is teacher then I use spacebar. Then my name is teacher Florence. Was that easy? So we are on our way to be typing experts. We are going to learn how to create documents using Word. So now I've created, I have this document which has my name. My name is teacher Florence. Now, we talked about formatting. Okay. 
So I have my name here. My name is teacher, my first sentence. So I'll bring my mouse to point at my first sentence and click once. What happens is that my text is shaded gray. It is called selecting. It is called selecting or highlighting. So I have highlighted my sentence so that I can make changes to it. So here I will change here. This tool here is called pick a new font for your text. So I'm going to click on this arrow and put it as Britannic bolts. Then I'll come here. This says font size. Click and increase the size of my font to 28. Then I'll come here. This says font color and change my color to blue. Isn't that great? Wonderful lesson. Join me as we continue with this journey of typing. So now let me show you another how we go to a new sentence i click on the end of my name then i use the enter key here is the enter key i click on it to go to a new line okay so i'll continue typing i am your computer <coughs> teacher Now I will remove my key keyboard here so that you can see how my document looks like. So that will be my document, how it looks like once I finish typing, okay? Now, the next thing we have to know is about saving our work. Once you finish typing, you have to store your work in the computer so that you can find it in future, okay? So I'm going to teach you how to save, okay? So, now you can see my mouse there. I'm pointing at the file menu. So I'll click on file. Scroll down, move down to the word save. And I'll click save. So the computer will ask me, save us on OneDrive, computer, or I add a place. I can go to recent folders, my documents, or my desktop, okay? So, I will save in my documents. I click on my documents and the file, the save us dialog appears. This is how it looks like. You can see some folders there inside documents library. So, you can see here where it's most important, where it is written file name. So, here is where we are going to save the name of our document so that next time when we come to the computer i can search for it with the title which i have written here as a file name okay so my document will be called my name is teacher florence next thing to do will be coming here and clicking on save so now i have saved my document if you look at the top here on the title bar my document now has a name. It is called, my name is Teacher Florence, okay? Now I'm going to close it using the close button. So, that's, we are on our way to learning how to create documents. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.